Hey everybody, back out here at Flea Market again. This is uh, Matt with Bigums Outdoors. I appreciate y'all coming back. That's one's been here before. I really appreciate y'all. If it's y'all's y'all first time, I appreciate y'all showing up too, hanging out with me for a little while. Uh, gonna be back out here at the flea market again. Gonna scratch around. And had a pretty good weekend, or had a pretty good evening, not weekend. Had a pretty good evening the other night out here. I hope everybody seen that, liked it, shared it subscribed if you hadn't already i do would appreciate if y'all do and uh i'm gonna get out here and scratch around so we can find i'll see y'all next hole hey y'all back out here again got 12 13 here want to hope it's a nickel probably gonna be a full tab that wind just decided to pick up it's gonna be pretty rough out here as far as audio goes Get y'all set up here and see if we can scratch it out and find out what it is. kind of middle in out here. I can't even lay that pinpointer down. Nails all over the place. That's what it is. Nickel. You know, nickel starting out here. I can't get a location on it. Let's see if it's moved. There's a socket laying there in the dirt. be still in the hole. That's a decent sign anyway. It's a little deeper than oh where I just that ah, there it is. It was just that much far out of the way. See there's them 13 signals. 12 13s. Those and nickels come in exactly the same. I'm gonna scratch this socket up since I got an eyeball on it right here. See what it is. It might be a 10 millimeter everybody's looking for. Nope, battery. Goes in the jump pocket. See y'all the next hole. Hey y'all back again. Got a got a sight find here. My machine went off on it. Look down, it's a pin of some kind. Y'all can see that laying right there. Not sure what it's gonna be just yet. I ain't turned it over, ain't even touched it. Let's look at it and see. Gonna be some kind of little old charm. Little old pin type deal. I don't see any of my identification, any markings or anything on it, so this is gonna be costume jewelry jump but it's something we'll see y'all next hole hey y'all back again got an earring laying here coming as a 2-3 which is a good gold number not sure if it's going to be gold or not but give me a good number for it anyway let's see what we got Definitely an earring. 
I'll have to check that out when I get home. I don't see any markings on it. I can see rust on the little piece that goes through your ear. So that makes me think it's not going to be real. But uh, anyway, there it is. We'll put that in the pouch and we'll go on to the next hole. Well, finally got a good signal here, 28-29. Hope this going to be a quarter. I haven't dug one coin the whole time I've been here. They've been here long, though, but still. You'd have dug a few coins by now. Let's see what we get. Hitting a section of tables I don't normally hit. Here's the coin. Now what's it gonna be? It's gonna be another old penny. Sometimes I pick up some wheats out here. This ain't gonna be one, it's gonna be another memorial. Old stinking Lincoln. It's gonna be an early one though. Let's see here. 69 looks like. Yep, it's gonna be in the 60s, so that's the reason it came in so good. There it is. We'll see y'all next hope. Well, y'all finally scratched out a dime. Makes me 12 cents for today. And them two earrings. Like I started a second ago. Hunting a section of tables I don't normally hunt. Done pretty good at them last week. Got several quarters out of them. I want to see if I had a lot of signals I didn't dig that was sounding pretty good, but it was getting so late in the night. I just skipped right on over them trying to find the quarters but uh we'll hit it again this evening see what we can come up with i'll see how it's next hope well guys girls ladies gentlemen i finally got a quarter that's about the best find i've got for tonight so far and i've been here about 45 minutes so digging that look down right here beside me hopefully that's going to bring me some good luck a little horseshoe earring not sure probably going to be junk but that's like the third earring I found tonight so maybe that's going to be good luck if it is I'll keep that with me the whole time and maybe the next time we're going to go on down here I still got about 10 more tables to go. I go back down the back side of them. We'll move on somewhere else. I'll see y'all the next hole. Hey guys. I got something here that I've never seen before. I know it's Spanish. It's uh, possibly silver. It says Centavos. 1946. Don't know if it's actually a coin. Or if it's a token of some kind. I'll have to look that up when I get back to the house. Let y'all know for sure. But if anybody's got any ideas, y'all leave that down there in the comments. What it is, what it's worth, if it's worth anything. Pretty neat find though. Coming in like a not like a nickel, I mean not like a nickel, but a dime. Not sure what it is. I'll clean that up when we get to the house and I'll find out. Like I said though, if any of y'all know what it is, y'all let me know. I'll let y'all let y'all help me out on that one. I'll see y'all the next hole. Hey everybody, welcome back. Made it back to the house this evening. Uh, I actually ended up being a pretty good hunt. Started out real slow. I was struggling pretty hard trying to find anything. I went for probably 30 minutes, didn't pick up more than just uh one or two pennies that was laying right on top of the ground. Uh, had a pretty good time. Found a dollar and fifty two four six dollar fifty eight cents and just regular clad. Found a wheat penny, nineteen forty six wheat penny. Pretty good shape actually. There's the back side of it. Here's the front side. It's a little rougher than the back is. Had a 
good looking re uh, reverse on it. But uh, about the best thing, I don't know how good it is. It's a 1946. I think I said it was a possible silver. The date was what was making me think it was that. It's a, actually a bronze 20 centavo coin from 1946. It's made in Mexico. But uh, don't really know a whole lot about any of the Spanish coins. But it's actually a real pretty coin. If it was in better shape, you can tell this one's got a lot of wire on it. I can get it turned right without dropping it again. Do the same thing somebody else did lose it. But I'd say back in the day, I've seen a couple of pictures online. Looked it up when I got home. But uh, it's, they're actually real pretty coins. Um, but that's my best finds. That little horseshoe, you know, I showed you earlier in the video. Wound up carrying it the rest of the night. And that's after I found that, uh, before I found the Centavo and that Wheat Penny. And both of them from 1946. That's another thing that was kind of odd to me. The Wheat Penny and the Centavo was uh, 1946. So I'll put them in the same display case. But I'll give y'all an overview of everything I did find here. Here's all the coins and stuff. Here's all the other stuff. Found uh, one ring. First of the ring of the year. Pretty proud of that. It's a little kid's ring. It's not sterling or anything, but uh, still, it's a ring. Ring is a ring. I don't care what anybody says. Pretty stone on top of it. A little bead. But uh, two earrings. Lost one of them. Now that little old, uh, horseshoe was the other earring. That earring there. It looks a lot better to the naked eye than it does on the microscope. I put it under my little digital microscope, which is right there. And you can see the copper coming through. Another little old junk earring. I may just pin that to my bag and keep it on me at all times out there. It done a pretty good job in that. Of course, you get the grommets. They come in like cold uh, dimes. All of them's off of tarps. Low aluminum grommets. One low nut with a washer made onto it. That's coming in pretty high, like a quarter. Of course, this little piece of copper with a screw through it, it was coming in like a quarter. That was coming in high. It's a piece of melted aluminum. A few other little odd and end things. Zipper pull laying there. I think that was just a sight find. I didn't even go over it with a machine. I just seen it there when I was digging one of these other coins. But that's what we've got. Oh, I did find one of the old dice. It's always a luck of the draw. Luck of the draw and roll of the dice. But, uh, we'll let y'all get back to whatever y'all was doing earlier. Thought I'd show y'all everything I got it back to the house here. I was pretty impressed with those 20 centavos. Like I said earlier, if anybody knows what this thing's worth, if it's worth anything at all, what I can find on, uh, on the internet, they're selling anywhere from a dollar on up to $35. I know this one here is pretty worn. It's not got a lot of monetary value. Been around, been carried for a long time. Got a lot of wear on it, but uh, I'll be proud to put it up anyway. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all coming back every week. The ones of y'all that do, if this is your first time. Please, I'd appreciate it if y'all at least think about subscribing anyway. But uh, oh, I didn't show y'all that little clip. Uh, one other little pen I found. A little candlestick. Looked like a Christmas thing. Candlestick holder there. 
pretty little old pen. It's still even got all the stones in it. But anyway, get off here. I'll let y'all see y'all next week. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good evening.